to my channel so today I will be discussing with you on how to bring a dog into the United States from Philippines okay before anything guys I'm gonna show with you what kind of dog did I take with me during my travel so this is my dog named Pepper Ta -da! <laughs> I don't know guys if you can see his face he's a kind of black grayish dog his name is Pepper. He's a two-year-old Shih Tzu from the Philippines. So actually, guys, this is my uh, fourth dog. I have, I still have three dogs in the Philippines. So well, anyway, I'm gonna share now what are the tips and tricks, or what are the procedures that you need to prepare beforehand. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, my first tip, guys, is to know what airlines accept or allows pet in cabin or in cargo. But in my case, because I have a Shih Tzu, which is a snub-nosed dog, that Shih Tzu needs to fly with me in cabin. And then with that, we decided to fly with Korean Air. I believe Delta Air also accepts dog, but we decided to fly with Korean Air. After that, you need to... Um, book or manifest you a reservation for your dog any preferred dates that you want and then we call them and then we booked a, uh, a date and then after that um, we received a confirmation email from them it's a pet transportation service so you're gonna get two email which is your first destination where in my in, in my case um, I de my departure, our departure is in Manila and then arrival in Seoul, Korea. So this is my first, this is his first pet transportation service booking. And then there is another one which is uh, from Seoul, Korea, arrival in Dallas. So you need to have, if because we have the layover, so the dog will also have two tickets. Two tickets. Okay, my second tip is the cabin dog requirements. I'm not going into details. You can actually check the um, website of the Korean Air for more details, but I'm not gonna go into details. I'm just gonna give you brief or whatever I remember about uh, what I did during our trip. Well, first is you need to have an approved airline, airline pet carrier. So in our case, um, I purchase before I I go to the Philippines because I don't know if uh, I can find one in the Philippines so what we did uh, we purchased beforehand a pet carrier we purchased it at in, in some pet store in the United States so, guys I'm not I'm not telling you to buy this kind of um, carrier but this is just what I purchased with me so it's a it's a Sherpa brand it's a medium it's a medium size in the Korean air website they had their they have their dimension but uh, we uh, I purchased this kind of carrier and I had no problem at all so this is uh, again this is a medium Sherpa brand of a pet carrier so I believe this is one of their approved pet carrier pet allowed in cabin should weigh less than seven kilogram including the carrier so i think this carrier weighs about one plus kilo kilogram and my shih tzu during the time he was 4.6 kilograms so with plus one so i met the requirements Okay, my third tip is to prepare the documentation of the dog. First is you need to have an updated vaccine report. Next, you need to have a negative result for screwworm test and a negative result for heartworm test. With that, you need an attached medical certificate from your vet. Of course, it should be signed by your veterinary that your dog is healthy and has a negative result from those two tests with an updated rabies report. 
And after that, you need to secure an export certificate or an exit certificate from the Bureau of Animal Industry located in Visayas Avenue, UP Diliman, Quezon City, Philippines. Don't worry, don't stress yourself out where it is, what are the requirements needed. You only have to bring with you those documentations that I've been discussing with you earlier. Just take it with you, you don't have to bring your dog with you. Just take those papers, those documentations, and then that's it. It's easy, you know. You, you just have to wait probably half a day. And I promise, I guarantee you guys, it's easier to secure those, um, those um, export certificate, you know. And it's for free. You don't have to pay anything. It's for free. So my fourth tip, guys, is just be early at the airport. Who knows what's going to happen at the airport? You know, Philippines. You know what I mean? Okay, down to my fifth tip is, guys, make sure that you wash your dog before the flight. You know, it's just a dog personal hygiene. Okay, my sixth tip is, you will be paying the airline ticket of your dog at the check-in area. For us, it costs us $200 for the plane ticket of my dog and that's it guys you and your baby fur will be ready to board the plane i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up like this video share as well and give me a comment down below if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below and i'll try to answer your questions thank you guys i hope you guys like this video i love you guys bye this is my American Filipino dog.